Hello, Cancer. It's Milady from Milady's Late Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of October 23rd through the 30th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Memory cards by Lucy Cavendish. Seems like somebody's pissed off about something this week. And I closed off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the books to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. And let's get this show on the road. Let's go on. What's going on with the Cancer, Cancer, Cancer? Whew. Cancer, love reading, October, October, October 23rd, 23rd through 30th, 2017. October 23rd through 30th, 2017. Cancer, cancer, cancer. All right. So, we're dealing with some arrogant people. Okay. I feel like this might be both sides of the um, fence. You feel like you deserve everything and your partner does as well. Which is not so bad unless crazy stuff going on. All right. So, it seems like... Um, either you or your partner not realizing that this is the attitude that they're putting out, you know? Okay. I don't know why. I think crap. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, it seems like there may be like the relationship y'all either really care about somebody or somebody may be pregnant or, um, yeah, I'm just feeling like somebody really cares about this relationship, you know, but, or it could be like if somebody's pregnant and they just being mean, not, I can't, I really can't say mean, I'm going to just say controlling and they not realizing that they being this bad, okay, all right, so. It seems like there's somebody opened their heart, but they didn't realize it. I'm getting this kind of Scorpio feel from here. Yeah, I know it's Pisces. I'm getting like a Scorpio feel in it. Uh, like a water. So I guess this is water and earth. Okay. So it seems like somebody wants... you to be vulnerable so somebody wants you to be vulnerable and open your heart which is your, your heart is open but it's like you may be being too demanding and like strict and like you know you know just moody you know so you may not be pregnant but you could just be um extremely strict you know strict and structured so it's really nothing wrong with that but here is like uh, your partner, they want more of the power and you know, you're just not willing to let it go for whatever reason, okay? All right, cancer, cancer, cancer. Wow. Okay, so, uh, well, uh, I want to say why. But what's going on here is it seems like some you guys may be using sex as power. Okay, it's just like if you don't do what I say, I'm not having sex with you. That's what's going on here. Wow. Mm. Why? All right, so it seems like you may have a third party person just trying to get into the relationship here. So this could be you or this could be somebody else. I mean, the, the person that you're dealing with. But there's definitely somebody trying to bust up y'all happy home. Okay? Or already done busted up in there. Alright, so cancer. Let's go. Yep, third party situation. So I feel like, yeah, somebody somebody may have went outside the marriage for some of you because of this like power struggle. Like you're not gonna give me some, I'm gonna go out there and get it. You know? And I feel like this may be a marriage or just like a long-term commitment, maybe a long-term partner. And I feel like in some cases, um, there is some pregnancies. And I feel like in, in uh, some cases, it's where you work, where they work. 
All right, Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Love reading, love reading. October 23rd through the 30th. 23rd through the 30th, 2017. Yeah, so the secret is getting ready to come out and it's going to break some hearts. Definitely going to break some hearts. Okay. So, somebody's cheating on their pregnant wife, or somebody's pregnant wife is cheating on their husband. That's what's going on here. All right, and it's just because of the un misunderstanding. We can't talk to each other about the situation, so I'm not going to have sex with you. And you like, I really want it, so I'm going to go get it. Okay. Wow. Okay, so this is basically like, no matter what, I'm going to be happy. Like, so if you do it or if you don't do it, I'm going to get what I want. That's this. That's that arrogant stuff up there. All right. Yikes. So this sort of makes me feel like somebody is doing this to you just because we reverse. And this is definitely a life lesson because you got three major arcanas for your four card split I mean shh, that's 75 percent but let's start reading the cards we have the Empress and the Empress says a time you may doubt yourself or your circumstances uh, however new and exciting times are approaches a time of love sexuality and pregnancy may be indicated so this is basically talking about um just trying to start a new beginning, you know, and you may be pregnant with somebody's baby, but you just like, I am doing whatever I feel like doing because I can do what I want. All right. So now we have the two of cups reversed. This says, um, this is a card of union of two people coming together at a time of understanding between the two. And I feel like this understanding is, you don't want to give me sex, so you know I'm going to go get it if you don't give it to me, right? So I feel like that's what that is, you know? And now we have the sun card reversed. And the sun card reversed is hiding. There it is. It says, um, a time of uh, absolute joy, peace, and happiness. You look at life as a gift full of future fortune. So many good things approach. Everything you touch will now lead to success and ultimate success so it's basically like whatever you do you don't care what's going on you're gonna be happy but this could also be your partner doing this to you as well so all together is like no matter if somebody likes you uh likes what you're doing or not you're gonna do what you do to make you to make you happy and then here is just like injustice and fail agreements so i feel like yeah in a marriage you going to cheat in your marriage. And then the other side of it is like, you said you're going to be with me no matter what. Sickness and health, death do its part. You know, you are going to be here for me. You need to do what I, uh, I want you to do. And they're not doing that. So it's like, you're not doing their part. I'm not doing your part. You know, so it's an injustice in the whole situation. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a person to read, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.